When a boyfriend of hers was high, he thought that he was Jesus and that she was Mary. She calls herself Mary Magdalene. She describes doing cocaine at 12 years old and giving head to guys on an interview on YouTube. She lived everywhere from Canada to Mexico, and she currently lives in Mexico now. She didn't discuss a partner and she has no plans for children, but has several different pets, including a pig. She's very protective over that pig. She says her brother recently moved in with her after someone had broken into her home, but didn't steal anything, which scared her. Are they after her? She doesn't want to be the R word. At 17 years old, she had an ad on Craigslist until she was busted. She says she only gave massages, and then she admitted to hand jobs for money, and then smiled. Being deceitful, we are left with thinking that's not all that had happened. She says she started surgery at 18 years old when she started dancing, and of course the ones with the surgery were the ones making the most money. She says they were being made fun of as well, but still, they were making the most money. She has many tats and intends on getting more, including one that says, quote, fuck me, end quote. She says the older she gets, the more slutty the words get. She's had so far three nose jobs, fat transfers, cheek fillers, lip fillers, brow lifts, lipo on her arms, three BBLs, injections, butt implants. Her breasts are now a size 38J. She wants to be extreme and over the top. That's her goal. She's introverted. She says she has many personalities and wouldn't you know it, she's a Gemini and you guys know how I give those extra shout outs to the gems. She says she is very secure in herself and I do get that feeling that she is. You have to be to look like her and to do the things that she does to earn money. She does have an OnlyFans page that is under her name. I believe she said she has two of them. Mary says she identifies as a gay male. Sebastian Pickles is his name, which is peculiar because aside from her many surgeries, lip, breast, and butt, she also died trying to achieve the goal to have the fattest, I'm going to say, vagina which she says she does have the fattest vagina in the world, and I'm going to take her word for it. But she did say she has an OnlyFans page if you'd like to see for yourself. She describes how women use vagina pumps for a bigger vagina. Now, I knew that they put those clips inside to make it look like they have a camel toe, but I did not know that they used a vagina pump. I knew the men have the penis pump to make it enlarged, but wow, that one really went over my head. But she said she doesn't want to use that. She wants hers permanently fat. And by the way, guys, I have three pet peeves in life. The first one is when people yarn and they don't cover their mouth around you. I cannot stand that. I literally almost lose my shit over that. And the other one is the camel toe and the moose knuckle. If we're chilling, I don't want to look over and there's like a camel toe there or a moose knuckle. I just don't want to see that if we're chilling. I mean, we're supposed to be chilling. I just don't want to see that. But back to the story. She described how she inflates and deflates her vaginal lips. I mean, this interview was really something else. I think it's No Jumper. I think that's the interviewer's name on YouTube, easy to find. Now, Mary Magdalene, she's only 25 years old. I mean, I thought that I did some real shit in my 20s. Oh, hell no, I have nothing, nothing on this girl here. So this is the love thyself June, right? We're supposed to be having this self-love in June. And I just wanted to start off with this one. And for the rest of this week, it'll be similar things that I found that I like to share. But just remember, I always say <laughs> in your heart, in your mind, in your body, the way you feel, 
You know, you have to love yourself and you have to have peace within yourself before you can do anything else. And Mary, <laughs> she has a sadness to her outside from her her look there. She has a sadness. She easily started to cry and she did ask the interview to edit that out which he said he would, but he didn't. He said he wanted people to see another side of her. And she cried so easily at the thought, the fact that her brother sometime, you know, reads the comments and I guess maybe they upset her brother. And she cried very easily at that. And I know sometimes Gemini's can be hard as steel and then over emotional and sometimes dramatic. It all depends on what you're going through. But I don't know. I, it's a lot going on here. It, it is a lot going on here. And I saw another woman, she was on, she was on a, a TLC um, show I was watching not too long ago. And she had extreme big boobs too. And they had asked her, she had a son though. She did have an older son. They asked her, you know, would she, if she could do one thing, what would she do? And she actually said she, even though she was looking for a surgeon who would get them bigger than what they were, which was crazy, she said she wouldn't mind going back to how she used to look, even though we all know that that can't happen anymore. So that's the first story of June here with our self-love series. Stay tuned. Like and subscribe, people. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. And stay tuned.